Okay, we are speaking with the director Demian Monier. Uh, he's the director of the film Ordinary Landscape. And uh, this is really amazing story about farming and agriculture in Bretagne region, about exploitation of the land, the livestock, and at the end, the humans. Uh, how did you get uh, into this story? Are you from this region? Do you come from farming family from there? Uh, actually, uh, this is my family. Some of the people in the movie are members of my family. And I could say that I, I tried to begin something when I was a student in cinema, uh, trying to make some films as a, a quest in the memorial uh, family uh, trying to to catch uh, what disappears and what remains and that was in 2002 but then it's it um, I, I let it uh, on the side <laughs> uh, thinking that it it, this, it it wasn't much more interesting that family memories and then in 2012, uh, when some of the kids who were on the picture um, start to retire from ag agriculture, it makes a, like a temporal frame which appears me to, um, to be interested to, to explore how uh, economics, technology and social uh, things um, change and remain and that was the, the the really starting point in 2012 uh, combining this uh, personal interest for memorial issues and uh, much more political questioning yes uh, were you also while discovering the whole story and while discovering the way it works i mean the farming and agriculture and uh, breeding thing uh, did you discover how horrible it is and all the horrors during the shooting or you had the whole picture at the beginning of shooting yeah it was in between i i had a part of the whole picture <laughs> of it but i also discovered something during the shooting and much more during the preparation of the shooting because it's it's a it takes me a long time to to prepare it, to write it, and to to manage to combine the different um, things I want to cross and to 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 edit together. <laughs> and I knew this work, and what was important for me was also to to show what was the, the work today and not only a stereotype of the farm work mm -hmm. and uh, this work is also made with uh, informatical things pictures and um, yeah quite industrial and uh, yeah like office work too and mm -hmm. one of the challenge what was to to see how this link to the cattle, to the earth, and to this uh, technical part of the work was uh, linked to make this contemporary work. Actually. Yeah, it is really strange this fact that uh, even since uh, these uh, people produce more goods thanks to technology, somehow the earnings and the money is less than in you in the previous parts, in uh, previous days. Yeah. This is really like this thing of exploitation and you don't choose what you breed and you don't choose what you do. Uh, this was really stunning for me, uh, how the whole market works. And for us as consumers, it's just, okay, you go and buy meat and yeah, it's really uh, strange how it works. Yeah, it's a, it's a liberal economy and uh, and the work uh, to produce uh, meat or <laughs> vegetables is a 
is completely uh, globalized and industrialized. So that was a, a key a key point of the of the shooting and uh, and the, the film. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about? Uh, uh, we see the whole picture in the film, uh, what is going on. But uh, are there any solutions? Is there turning back? Uh, somehow we don't see the solutions in the in the in the film. And uh, do you think about it? Yeah, of course I think about it. But what was important for me was to describe this part of uh, agricultural people uh, who who belong to the majority of them, uh, especially in Brittany, as a part of France in which the film is uh, is shot. And it was much more interesting for me to to place the film at this um, at this place because it's these are not uh, completely uh, industrial uh, huge industrial farms, and those are not um, biological agriculture farms, but they are the majority of them and it it makes me the possibility to to question uh, how it proceeds and how those people experience this evolution and it was a way to to question the the paradox and the complexity of the uh, modernism of uh, how how a whole uh, rural society move from a home economy to an industrial one. And in this uh, movement, uh, it leads uh, them and us through them to this uh, astonishing fact, but it also allow them and in uh, and me too, to to go out of this condition, to go out uh, from poverty and misery. They, they are talking about that at the beginning of the movie, that this uh, modernization, even if they didn't um, see how, how global and how political it was, uh, uh, permit them to to get uh, uh, power or water inside their home, for example, and it was a, a kind of revolution for them. And uh, it's uh, how they gain uh, comfort and how they could feel uh, as the other people in the society. So it interests me to 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 hold the, the the two sides of the complexity of it yeah, yeah i really love the commentaries uh, which are made uh, by director sofia nadel <laughs> yeah yeah because they are very poetic at the beginning and they really make uh, like uh, make you think about the whole thing yeah especially the last uh, tracking shots of all the companies, uh, mega companies at the end. Yeah. How did you get in contact with him? Did you study together? Did you work together in the past? Yeah, we worked together in the past for um, a film and website review called Derive. Mm -hmm. And in 2010, we published uh, a review in which he, he, he made some photos and we, yeah, we begin to to talk together from this time, and then, and the editor of the film was also the editor of his films, mm -hmm. and uh, he is working with the DOP, uh, he, Roman Carcanad, and I'm working with him too, and he he met him by chance, <laughs> and mm -hmm. yeah, it was like a, a a wide community, and we yeah. We, I decide to work with him because in his films, he is um, talking on that way to the spectator, uh, facing the camera, facing the, the public. And I like this way he, he managed 
to get the attention with uh, yeah, his, his own voice and expressivity. And at, it was what I was looking for. The idea of the commentary was there at the beginning of the project. I really want that there is this kind of um, literature <laughs> in the film. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked um, the sh short documentary film of the 50s, like uh, Alain René or Agnès Varda's one mm -hmm. or Chris Marker. And they are using such commentaries which are poetic and, and giving some precise facts. And uh, this way of enumeration of dates and quantities and uh, facts was important to, to make a step back from the reality and to, to, to fit, yeah. <laughs> to fit mm -hmm. the film on that way. Yeah. And during the shooting, it, it, there is also the fact that some people didn't want to be filmed or to be recorded mm -hmm. because they are in such a horrible situation that they just want to figure, to figure in the film or to talk about it. And while shooting, it, 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 appears, it appears to me that um, the commentary could be a way to integrate in the film this, uh, uh, these silences and this uh, uh, self-invisibilization. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. And it was yeah, important also to say that, yes, there is this movie, there is these people who are talking, but uh, it's only a part of the reality. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. Also, the film uh, came out uh, during the Vision de Rel, yeah. uh, the festival, and uh, it started uh, more or less during this COVID situation and pandemic. Uh, did you have chance to show it to the audience? I mean, uh, wide audience on open air or in the cinemas? Uh, actually, there, there was no, no um, projection. Live screening during the, the COVID uh, thing. <laughs> but before, there are some, some screenings in, before it, during the, the autumn and the winter. And I also saw that uh, your film is at the Tank platform, which yeah. is a quite interesting thing, uh, like way of uh, rebuilding the village and, uh, and this environment. Uh, can you tell us how it works for you? Did you have any, uh, because we are also dealing uh, with the whole this thing at the Bell Dogs Festival. Yeah? So this is one of the films that is somehow part of this uh, movement, let's say. Because I know that Luzas, uh, the village, yeah. it's, uh, they started this tank, the whole uh, thing, the platform. Yeah. So uh, I was uh, curious about your experiences with it and how it works. Yeah, Lusas is a, is a particular place for me because it was where I studied cinema and documentary as a master of degree. Uh, it was in 2004, so it was quite, uh, quite long. But uh, yeah, thank was of course, uh, an important way of uh, showing the, the film. And it was, it was in the frame of the art photo photographic festival mm -hmm. and uh, yeah there are progra programming uh, films with uh, partnerships with different festivals and it was in in that uh, frame yes but I, I, I actually i didn't get feedback of it <laughs> i just share this film on the platform and that was great <laughs> yeah also i want to ask uh, did you show the film to the characters from the film from Bretagne, the farmers, uh, did they see the film and did you talk about it later? How was the uh, cover the yeah, reactions? Of mm. Yeah, of course, it was uh, the second screening after Vision du Réel. Mm -hmm. And it was really an important thing because, uh, yes, of course, uh, the, the room was full mm -hmm. of people of the film and their family. And they, they like it of, because, uh, it was for for them it was not a film about agriculture but a film about 
agriculture agriculture people mm. and, and it was also their life some of them it was really uh, their all their whole life mm. describing their whole life from the childhood to retirement uh, and they particularly liked the commentary because mm. it was um, the part of the film which uh, which is um, not so far not so which was not the the life it was mm. a step uh, behind step out mm. step out yeah and um, also because the commentator could say things that they couldn't say because of their position. Mm. So they, they enjoy it because of that. It's really a pity that uh, the audience cannot ask questions right now. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> yeah. only you and me. Yeah. But I'm sure that in the future, those conversations, especially with the audience, uh, should be like very lively and uh, very mm. interesting. Yeah. I yeah, because, because much people in in France have um, rural roots, so it's quite often that in a conversation after screening, some people could say, "Yeah, my father or my aunt or my grandfather was has had or has this life." Yeah, it's it's always quite moving. <laughs> Yes, and always new experiences probably would pop up with the uh, with the people. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah, I want to thank you because we have limited time. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I want to tell again that this is extraordinary documentary, and I'm sure it will be screened everywhere, and uh, it can raise more questions because now the economy with this uh, liberal capitalism and uh, liberal market is uh, really destroying the everything around yes yeah. so everything <laughs> yeah so thank you very much and um, keep safe and uh, enjoy life you and too. hope to meet you in person sometimes yeah probably <laughs> thanks thanks <laughs>